Welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and I am privileged to be joined today by the head football coach, the Kansas Wesleyan University Coyotes, Coach My- Myers Hendrickson. Coach, I have to tell you, it's it's a privilege to get to visit with you. You're two and zero to start the year. Two games uh, in the book so far. Fourteen and one as the head coach at Kansas Wesleyan, and back to back undefeated seasons in KCAC play for the program has to be a pretty good start. Talk about that. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me on here today. Uh, really excited about where we're at right now as a program. I think uh, where you see is is our depth. Um, we've been able to develop outstanding depth within our program. Um, you know, last year we had a pretty good uh, senior group, a great senior um, led team, and uh, we've been able to develop that depth. And now going into uh, 2020, I think a lot of people didn't know where we were at, but as a, as a staff, and as a program, we felt confident of where we can go, and uh, we're continuing to trend in the right direction, and, and we're excited about it. Well, you know, you talk about those seniors, and, and you do lose some big names from a program that did so well last year. I mean, you talk about Johnny Photo, of course, and Shaq Bradford, Marco Pruitt. Uh, some other players are going to have to step up to continue that, but it looks like you do in the early going seem to have people stepping into those roles. Quarterback Isaiah Randall doing a, a good job. He has a lot of weapons with which to work, including uh, sure-handed receiver Stevie Williams. Talk about some of those players who are stepping up. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, starting off, you mentioned Stevie Williams. He's a first-year player in our program last year, so we were pretty senior-driven for the most part, but we brought in a transfer receiver that led the nation in receiving, and he did an incredible job. And now seeing his game develop more off the field, you know, as a great leader, bringing other players with him um, and continuing to still have the incredible production on the field. I think I just heard uh, in our pregame interview here for this week, William Penn, I think he's had nine uh, 100-yard games in his career, and it's, he just feels like he just got here yesterday. Uh, just has one season under his belt, but uh, – his leadership on and off the field is a testament of where we're going as a program, is that we're bringing uh, the right players in, you know, more importantly, great people, great teammates, and, um, you know, it's, it's leading us in the right direction. You know, as, as as good a season, by the way, as Williams had last year, I mean, with, with the names like I mentioned before, they were getting all that that airtime and, and all the, the numbers that those guys were dropping too. I mean, my goodness, Coach, you do have a, a lot of weapons at your disposal. But let's think about that as a team then. You're coming off back-to-back seasons – with playoff appearances, Kansas Wesleyan made it to the national semifinals in 2018. And then, of course, last year made it to the quarterfinals as well. I have to think that win back last year, though, the one win in the playoffs was really a, a big win. You, you came away with a, a victory over Baker, a 42-7 to win. And that one just seemed to be a big one for the school and for the conference. That was huge for our university. Uh, that one, I think, is really uh, a program changer um, because they're in our state. Uh, They they play in a different conference, so a very, very uh, competitive, tough conference where they seem to make the playoffs every year. They played for a national title not too long ago. And to win a game by that margin against somebody that really has always, you know, looked, uh, you know, looked on as as maybe a better program than you and for us to win that game, um, like you said, by the score that you mentioned, uh, it was huge for us. That's a big step forward Um, out of all the schools in the state of Kansas. Um, between Division One, Junior College, Division Two, and AI, we had the most wins out of any state out of any any pro- college program in the state of Kansas. So we're really excited about where we're going. A ton of work still to do, but last year was another step in the in the right direction, and, and we're going to continue to build and, and try to elevate our program. We're speaking now with Myers Hendrickson, who is the head coach at Kansas Wesleyan in his second season. And, Coach, you know, there really is a lot happening in Salina right now in the athletic department and uh, big announcements that have been made. You're not even going to be the only football program on campus with the addition of flag football coming in. And then, of course, it's also been announced that men's volleyball is being added as a varsity sport as well. Talk about what this means for the school. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, you look at the outstanding leadership of our president, Dr. Matt Thompson, uh, who really has a vision for our university and our athletic department. Uh, you go back to when I was an assistant here in 14 and 15. Uh, in 2014, we were playing at Salina Stadium, the high school uh, field here in town. But he truly had a vision to where we were going um, as an athletic department. He brought football back to campus. Uh, we've got a beautiful stadium right here, um, one of the best in the country, certainly one of the best in the conference. Uh, so the outstanding support from our administration um, and then Steve Wilson, our athletic director, I mean, the, the vision he's got as far as growing our athletic department. Uh, I know some of the numbers this fall are enrollments at, um, you know, extremely high this fall, higher than it's been in, I think, nearly a decade. So there's a lot of positive momentum for the university. You mentioned uh, another football program, which is pretty <laughs> awesome. You know, the sport is growing. Um, you know, we want to 
uh, continue to grow the game. And, and so we're, we're starting a flag football program here, um, a, a female uh, flag football program here at Kansas Wesley University. And then we added um, men's volleyball as well. So we already have an outstanding volleyball program here. Um, so we're, we're excited to add that on the men's side as well and, and, and really grow our athletic department even more. Just a lot of activity happening. You know, when your team takes the field, there's a lot of activity that happens on the scoreboard, by the way, too. I mean, uh, 64 and a half points per game so far this season. Now, that's through two, just two games, and I understand that. But your team has averaged, uh, the program's averaged 48-plus points per game in each of the last two seasons. So that's consistency. I mean, even though it's just two games in so far this year. Uh, talk about what it takes, then, to have that kind of offensive production. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got to buy in. Everybody's got to buy in and do your job. You know, we, we have a system, uh, but we also have the flexibility within our offensive system uh, to make sure that our best players are getting the ball and, and, and make sure that we're utilizing our strengths and really emphasizing our strengths. Um, and so I'm really excited about how that's evolved. Um, each year, this offensive system that we've been running and, and I've ran as a coordinator and now as a head coach, it changes a little bit because it all depends on who your personnel is. And that's been the strength of our program. And, and this year we happen to be playing two quarterbacks. And so that's something that's kind of unique and has been really good for us, you know, to, to put the points that we had the first two games, but this, this challenge coming up here, week three is completely different. Uh, it's triple option and it's out of conference. So you can kind of throw all the stats out the window and, and we're just going to do our best to, to see um, put ourselves in the best position to try to get, come away with a win. Coach, that's a great segue, so let's talk about that then really quickly. Uh, you haven't played since September 19th, but the big news this week is that you did add a game. Now, originally St. Mary was supposed to be your opponent on Saturday, this coming Saturday, October 10th. That game has been moved to March, and you all went out of conference, and you're bringing in William Penn from the heart, uh, the statesman coming to play, and, and I believe this is the first meeting between the two teams as well. Yes, first ever uh, meeting in football between the two universities. So it's pretty <laughs> unique, just like this whole season has been. If you would have said that we'd been playing William Penn on October 10th, 2020, we, we'd been like, you know, what are you talking about? Because that's right in the middle of conference season. You know, this is something that literally, you know, would never happen unless given these circumstances. So we're making the most of it. You know, the persistence of our athletic director, Steve Wilson, trying to find a game and us just – be willing to play. I mean, we just, we just want to play. I mean, we didn't know we were going to be playing triple option this week, but you know, that that's the opportunity that we have in front of us. So we're going to make the most of it. We get a home game too. So, you know, we got great community support, great uh, campus support. So anytime that we get to play at home in front of our crowd, in front of our fans, we'll be excited to do that. Well, this week it's going to be the first of three straight home games at the Graves Family Sports Complex, and it's going to be a game against William Penn, against out, again, out-of-conference game, and a kickoff, an early morning kickoff. Well, maybe not too early morning, an early day kickoff. How about that? 11 a.m., the kickoff from Salina, William Penn taking on Kansas Wesley. And Coach Myers Hendrickson, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate everyone watching as well. Please do like and share this video, and please do consider subscribing to this channel as well, Midwest Sportsnet. Thanks again for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.